This video is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Outdoors Delmarva covers everything outdoors. Including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. We do our best each and every week to keep it tasteful, but discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week on the show, it's an early Christmas present for these two Delmarva youngsters. We are tagging along on a youth hunt at a very unique location where the ducks are thick and the dogs are busy. Good, here, here. Plus, we're taking a look back at some special moments that never quite made it into a story, but were so good we just had to share them. And one young hunter bags an unusual trophy that comes along once in a lifetime. We had a hard time believing it ourselves. Right now on Outdoors Del Marva. <laughs> This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. And now, here's Captain Willie Dykes. Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We'll be checking in with my partner, Mike Parker, in just a few minutes. Well, you know, Christmas is right around the corner, and we're out here at Landis Tree Farm near Harbison doing one of our favorite things, picking out a tree. Now we're going to do something a little different with our tree this year. We're going to tell you about that in an upcoming episode. Well, right now, I want to tell you about a couple of kids for whom Christmas came a little early this year. It was on the last day of the youth hunt, and the ducks were thick. At the location, that was one of the most unique we've ever been to. We're just going to have to show it to you. You have to get up pretty early to go duck hunting. And since today's sunrise is at 7.09, legal starting time for today's hunt is at 6.39 a.m. Yeah, when you're walking, you're throwing out decoys and the birds are trying to land next to you. It's always a good sign. Our eyes have yet to adjust to the location. We know it's wet. But we hear the sound of beating wings all around us, and for 10-year-old Wesley Humes and 11-year-old Evan Strickland, this is a day they'll remember. We barely have time to set the decoys and load when the first ducks come close. Take, take. And it's a direct hit from Wesley. And our retriever, Storm, eagerly fetches the first duck of the morning. The ducks are still flying fast and furious with a couple of near misses. Then, in from the left comes the perfect opportunity. No. Hey. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Who shot that? I guess. <laughs> nice shot. And a big fat mallard falls before Evan's gun. Good. Here. Here. All within 10 minutes of the start of the hunt. Evan has hunted deer before, but nothing with wings. It's pretty harder. It's more hard because you got to lead them, and it's a smaller target. There are two days of hunting set aside for Delaware youth, and it's the perfect way for mentors Alan Humes and Joey Melvin to instruct the young hunters. So far today, we've been out here for 20 minutes and these boys have shot a pair of beautiful mallards. As daylight creeps in on this foggy morning, we get more acquainted with our hunting grounds on this private farm between Federica and Bowers Beach in Kent County. We're in um, a flooded corn area today. We were fortunate this year to get a lot of uh, rainwater from Sandy. So um, that gave us a lot of good water this year. We we're able to hold Oh, ducks are thankful to Sandy. And while the foggy conditions may have slowed down the ducks, the hunters are teased by a huge flock of snow geese that are scoping out the area. Today we had a nice flurry this morning, and we've had a little log where the boys can relax and enjoy the hunt. 
And just as it seems that luck has run out for our hunting foursome, it's wounded and Alan takes note of where the quarry has landed. I, he definitely went down on the marsh, so I'm going to take the dog out and, um, and we'll take one gun and, and see if we can retrieve this bird. And we're going to leave Evan here and he's going to man the ship. It's off to track the wounded bird to the marsh until Storm locates his target. Sit. Hold. 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 She's beautiful. That's what it's all about, Wes. Nice trophy. There's nothing left to do now but collect the decoys and reflect on the lessons of the day. Well, I learned that ducks are really, really hard to hit that you should always point your barrel in a safe direction. Here. But not without taking a few pictures to brag about later. Get outdoors, Delmarva! Coming up next on Outdoors Delmarva, the long story is we gave it all we had. The short story is we didn't come home with much, and every outdoorsman has had days like this. But first, did you know the wild mallard is the ancestor of most domestic ducks. How many eggs does a female mallard lay? The answer when we come back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Shorts Marine. Shooter's Choice. Sean Mann Outdoors, and Wink Sporting Goods. Outdoors Del Marva will be right back. <laughs> He's definitely going to get my lens wet. Did you know, nesting is a stressful time for the female mallard. She lays over half her body weight in eggs, averaging between 8 and 13 in a clutch. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. Well, you know, one of the challenges of putting together an outdoor show on a weekly basis is that no matter how hard you plan, no matter how lucky you think you are, sometimes adventures just don't go the way that you want them to. From a production standpoint, it's frustrating because it's still hours that we spend out on a boat or in the woods in a goose blind or elsewhere with little results at the end of the day. And it's footage that sometimes we never get a chance to show you until now. We've had enough of these adventures over the years that I've decided to take a look back at some of those that ended without a limit or a trophy, but were memorable nonetheless. The most recent trip we took that began with high hopes was right here out of Lewis, Delaware. Now, tons of adventures in the past alongside Captain Ted and the gang aboard the Indian had made for merry old memories, catching taw dog and black sea bass. But in December, rockfish are the bounty of the Delaware Bay. And a short trip through the fog to the area known as the Valley was on tap. Armed with live eels, the plan was to drift until the rockfish bit. Yeah, right now we're allowed to keep two at 28 inches. Conditions, today the conditions are perfect. I mean, you know, it's other than being foggy out. But five hours later, the only thing we had to show was a show of hands to head on home. While it was a rare rough one for this crew, other anglers had hooked them up as we arrived back at the harbor. The guys who'd been fishing with our pal Captain Brian aboard the Lil Angler 2 were having a December to remember. Now the late fall may be my favorite time of year, and this October afternoon started out with the perfect activity. Meeting up with a crew from Maryland DNR Fisheries, I'd help stock a few hundred of the most beautiful rainbow and brown trout ever to grace the spillway of Tuckahoe State Park in Caroline County. They're gonna be ready to be caught by a lucky Maryland angler. Let's take a look. Really pretty fish. But when the stocking was over, the trout angler in me was now chopping at the bit. But even with the fish splashing all around me, 
faster than I could cast my old reliable rooster tail, dozens of times. The only trout I could catch was by hand, rescuing this guy, which had been stuck in some leaves near the stream's edge. Oh well, at least I got a photo of Friends of the show who know me will tell you they're always asking me to put the camera down for a bit and just come have some fun. Uh-uh, can't do it. Call me a workaholic, I guess. But when you've had days like this goose hunting trip with Justin Firth in Talbot County, I can't help but want to hit record. So when I did try to just take in the day during a recent wood duck hunt, only setting this camera up from afar, uh, who would have known we'd come up short? And although having plenty of fun, we'd end the morning with just a single bird. And one activity that's sure to require patience happens right on the surf. Ironic that our friends at DelawareSurfFishing.com have been showing off this picture of angler Ben Smith's pending Delaware state record striper caught last week at Delaware Seashore State Park. Because this 51-inch, 52-pound monster is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime catch. The day I spent out on the surf at Three Hours Beach with the gang was like a lifetime, <laughs> dodging wind and sand and just trying to keep the camera dry. And while it gave us a chance to show off the new Subaru out on the sand, hanging out with good friends would have to provide some memories to keep because the lone striper hauled in wasn't even a keeper. Well, it's always fun looking back on our adventures even when they don't produce big results. But one thing to learn is that there are some popular sayings that go along with trips like that. The hunters will say that's why they call it hunting and not shooting. The fishermen say that's why they call it fishing and not catching. And my personal favorite, you should have been here yesterday. Coming up next on Outdoors Del Marva, what if you got a deer that had not one rack, but two racks? Outdoors Del Marva will be right back. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. You know, every deer hunter in the field dreams of getting a chance at a buck with a nice rack of antlers. Well, what if that dream comes true? Only the buck has two racks. Well, on a Maryland Youth Day hunt recently, a young hunter from right here in southern Worcester County got a chance to savor that feeling. We're just outside the village of Girdle Tree with uh, probably the most famous deer hunter in Worcester County right now, Tommy West. Hi, Tommy. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good to see you. Now, this was a youth day hunt. Now, how old are you? I'm 15 years old. 15? Now, how many years have you been deer hunting? About seven or eight. Now, this is uh, probably the most memorable so far, so far you say, I guess. Huh? Yes, this is definitely the most memorable. Well, how about telling us how this all happened? Well, uh, it's getting close to dark. Uh, me and my dad are back there hunting. And I uh, hadn't seen anything all day. It had been a pretty tiring day, pretty uh, let down. And uh, out of nowhere, uh, this buck came walking in on the corn pile. And uh, all I saw was the rack and the body, and I knew something was going on there. Lifted up the gun as fast as I could and shot. It was hard to believe your eyes when you uh, got up to the deer, was it? Mm-hmm, yes. So when uh, you told your uh, friends about this, did you get some uh, get some funny looks? Did everybody believe you? No one believed me at first till I showed them a picture. Well, Tommy, that probably wasn't Photoshop, but we're going to go take a trip to Parsonsburg to the taxidermist to make sure. You know they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but we knew you'd like to take a look for yourself, and so did we. So we came up here to Dennis Collins' taxidermy shop near Whiten in Worcester County to take a look. Dennis, how are you doing? Thanks for having us up here. We want to take a look at this rack that Tommy West brought in here. Have you? You've obviously seen a lot of deer here in uh, this part of the eastern shore. Have you ever seen anything like that? I've never seen it like this. Yeah, it looks that thing has really does have two complete racks. 
one on top of the other, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, Tommy, we just got back from the taxidermist, so there wasn't any photoshopping involved, so congratulations on a trophy of a lifetime. Thank you. Get outdoors, Don Marvin. Coming up next on Outdoors Delmarva, Christmas is just over a week away, and if you're still looking to pick up a few last-minute items, boy, do we have some ideas for you, from crossbows to boats and all the stocking stuffers in between. We'll show you some of the hottest holiday items with our friends at Shorts Marine. Outdoors Delmarva will be right back. This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Mike Parker, and we're back here visiting with our friends this week at Shorts Marine. Everything but the water when it comes to all of your boating needs. And with Shorts Archery, everything for the bow hunter in your life, too. And joining us right now is our friend Kelly Rotz with Shorts Marine and Shorts Archery. Kelly, an early Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Welcome back. All right, we always love stopping by here. And in the spirit of the holidays, it's hard to believe, boy, we're just a week away from Christmas itself. If you're like me, you've still got some items to knock off that wish list for the sportsman or sportswoman in your life. If we're looking at big ticket items this year, what are you going to tell me? We are now featuring the new 10-point tactical crossbow. 185 pounds, 335 feet per second. And you know what? It looks really cool. And you know where it'll look even better? Under the tree. <laughs> Kelly, you know it's been a huge year for getting young people involved in archery sports. We have the Olympics, we have movies like The Hunger Games, big deal. You can make those youngsters smile on Christmas too. Absolutely, from the classic camo first hunting bow for the little boy, right down to you know a pink mini for the little girls, just like your daughter and my daughter. She would love this. And for the big guys, if they've been good boys this year, uh -huh. we have the new Matthews Creed. Wow. Split limb, single cam technology at 3.8 pounds. All right, Kelly, so we got that big ticket item out of the way. Now we're really just looking for some stocking stuffers. What do you have? Sure, we have really simple ideas from trail markers and packs, you know, a couple dollars to maybe a uh, $15 cent elimination kit, up to maybe a $200 camera if you want to go a little better. All right, Kelly, well, the archery side of things here is just part of the equation. Of course, we got to take care of the boater on our list. What do you have here at Shorts Marine? We have a huge accessory store. We've got you covered from safety supplies, new flares, PFDs, boating apparel, trailer parts, paints, you name it. We've got you covered to get you on the water. Mike, if you really want to knock out most all of your Christmases all at one shot, honey, I've been a really good boy. All aboard! All right, Kelly Rod, it's always a pleasure, no doubt in my mind. If you're looking for a last minute gift, you can find it right here at Shorts Marine and Shorts Archery. Yep, we'll help try and make it a very Merry Christmas for any sportsman, sportswoman, or boater on your list. All right, you said it. If you're looking for boats and accessories to bows and archery equipment and hunting gear, look no further than our friends here at Shorts Marine in the Millsboro and Long Neck, Delaware area. Everything but the water. We'll be right back. Coming up next on Outdoors Del Marva, your latest viewer videos and pictures. Outdoors Del Marva viewer pictures are sponsored by Shorts Marine. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Shorts Marine, Shooter's Choice, Sean Mann Outdoors, and Wink Sporting Goods. Well, it's time now to take a look at some of the videos and pictures sent in by our own Outdoors Del Marva viewers. Let's begin with a young deer hunter who's coming out of the Maryland rifle season looking like an old pro. Allie Stevenson from Willard's bagged this impressive eight-pointer. Billy Andrew from Easton found some good fortune on this youth day hunt. Check out this nine-pointer with a 20 and a half inch spread. George Taylor of Cambridge had a season to remember this year. Here he is seen with this beauty of an eight-pointer. The December striper bite is definitely on, and the fellas from Fish Whisperer Charters posted this picture to our Facebook page. The anglers here are identified as the Crouch Gang. Nice fishing. Michael Urema Sr. of Wicomico County sure knows how to hook them up and reel them in. Check out this nice striper caught on Tangier Sound. 
Make room for another group of happy rock fishermen. Captain Larry Taws hosted a trip aboard the Tina Louise out on Pocomoke Sound recently. And along with first mate Steve Milligan and angler John Littleton of Salisbury, they had a pretty great day out there, even hooking up a double. And how about this all-season sportsman, eight-year-old Drake Turner of Salisbury. Drake harvested both this Sika stag this season and also headed out on the water with his dad, Scott, to boat this beauty of a rockfish. So until next time, for Captain Willie Dykes, I'm Mike Parker reminding you to get outdoors, Delmarva.